Hey my squidlings, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a demo and review on this Meyer Escape oil paints. Um, now I want to go ahead and tell you guys that I am a noob in the oil paint department. I have a couple of different brands of paints and that's about it. I think I have like a Soho brand which is supposed to be like a really student quality brand. And then I have a couple of colors in Winsor Newton that they sent me that will probably dry out soon. But um, So I'm not like very well versed in the oil color like how they're supposed to be. But um, I'm going to give you guys my opinion on what I think of these and stuff like that. So first off we have here as you can see obviously oil color by My Artscape in this nice purple shiny packaging. Um, and then when you open it, it opens like this. So you get a couple of coupon codes. You get the synthetic brush coupon code for 20% off. And if you guys want, you can use this. Just go to that website and you can get 20% off. Um, and then on the back here, you can get 20% off their oil paints as well. So just go to that website and you'll get some percent off. So, uh, yeah, if you like what you see here, go do that. And I will also leave some links down in the description below to their website, also to where you can purchase these. Um, so if you're interested. Now, um, we have got this packaging, and it's super nice, as always. I love their packaging. You guys know that if you've watched any of my My Heartscape reviews. Um, so, it has this, like, plasticky film so they don't dump out. Um, and then, yeah, I'm going to open it. Maybe. you get this nice variety of colors so it comes with titanium white lemon yellow yellow ochre vermilion cadmium red light green phthalo green cerulean blue prussian blue burnt sienna burnt umber and lamp black which i think is a really nice combination of colors uh, the only complaint i have and i always seem to have this complaint is the fact that there is no warm blue um prussian and cerulean are both considered cold blues uh, and there's no warm blue to make a nice purple. Now, I am going to mix them to see if I can get a pretty decent purple. So maybe I'm just, like, dumb and I don't know things, so I am going to mix them and see. Uh, but from the looks of it, you get a nice variety of colors otherwise, though. You've got a cold yellow. You don't have, like, a cadmium yellow or anything, but you do have a yellow ochre. A vermilion and a cadmium red, which are generally cold and warm reds. Uh, then you have a couple greens, so you don't have to worry about mixing green then blues, a couple browns, and black and white, of course. So you've got your, you know, good starter set, I think. So, um, now let's talk about the packaging. So this is what it looks like. You've got your 12 milliliter tubes. Um, there are 12 12 milliliter tubes. This is the lemon yellow, and it has a nice sticker on it. The cap has a nice little pokey thing, so you can poke the top of your paint because they come unpoked. And you just basically puncture it, and there you go, there's your paint. And um, then you have to do it to all these, um, it's good for paint saving, I'm not a fan of, you know, poking them and stuff, but it does help save your paints, especially like, for instance, if you have a white and you don't want to use this white, you don't have to. So, anyway, uh, these seem really nice, um, and I am going to do a swatch test for you guys, so don't worry about that. Um, so I guess we can go on to that, and I'll talk to you guys when we get to the swatch test. Alright, so as you can see, I am sampling the colors, or sampling, I, you know, I'm swatching them, that's what the thing is. And honestly, I have to say, these are definitely better than the Soho acrylics. They're not acrylics, the Soho oils I have. Um, they really are nice. They're super creamy, and I didn't have to use any kind of, like, thinner or linseed oil or anything to get them to flow this smoothly. Uh, and I really enjoy all the colors, and as I said earlier, you can make a nice purple. I did test that out, um, so no worries with that. So, as you can see here, I am painting a squid girl. Um, she's kind of like a squid mermaid, but I couldn't think of a cute name. Like, squirmaid sounds weird, so <laughs> anyway. Uh, so I'm just painting that because I liked this idea. I did it a while back in my sketchbook, and I wanted to kind of do something with it because, I don't know. So I am painting in the background here, and I decided I wanted to do like a little bit of an ombre effect almost, kind of like a dark blue all the way up to a light, not super light blue, but a lighter blue, I suppose. 
Uh, and yeah, I'm just painting that in, and I was on my computer apparently just now. <laughs> anyway, so for some reason that wireless mouse stays in the screen thing for a while, and I don't know what my thought process was on that. So anyway, um, I am just painting along, blah, blah, blah. I actually have a lighter blue in here now, and I'm not super good with oils, so... I mean, yeah, but I want to say my experience with these compared to, like, the other oils I've tried. I keep wanting to say acrylics. The other oils I've tried, uh, super nice. I They blended amazingly. They mix really well. I didn't find that any of them mixed badly with white. I know sometimes people have bad experiences with mixing other paints with white. Uh, the ones I did mix with white turned out really well. They were just as vibrant, just as beautiful. And uh, I actually mixed the skin tone as well with this color set, which I was super proud of myself for because I've never mixed a um, skin tone like just with regular color colors. Like I usually use like a flesh tint plus white or like a titanium buff or something like that. But uh, yeah, I mixed this with a little bit of vermilion, the yellow, and then the white. And I was super pleased with myself because I like how it turned out. So, uh, now I am painting in her tentacles, and they are pink because, I don't know, I don't really like the color pink, but I felt like that would look really, really good in this painting. Um, so I'm just painting those in, and I was actually going to initially leave this all flat color, um, but I decided, well, okay, because I'm an impatient person, I didn't, like, wait for the background to dry before going on to the next step kind of thing. And because I don't have time to wait a few days, I mean, I'm me, I'm impatient. So I, um, it, they kind of blended in with the blue background and I was like, well, you know what? I could always shade with some purple. So I do end up shading it with a little bit of purpley coloredness and I don't know, I really like it. So yeah. Uh, so back to the oil paints, like I said, they really worked amazingly. Um, I have zero complaints. As far as rating goes, 10 out of 10, man. These are the best oil paints I've used. They're actually pretty on par with the Winsor & Newton ones I have, which is saying a lot. Right now they only have a few colors, which are the ones I have, of course. Uh, but I would really love them to maybe branch out and start making, like, single colors that you can buy. Like, I think that would be great. Uh, and you could have, like, a whole big old set of colors. Uh, I think that would be awesome. Um, so yeah, definitely 10 out of 10, man. These are great. Uh, the, mm, I can't help it. They're just great. And they actually dry pretty fast. I had some, um, like the swatch. I did it about a couple days ago, and without any, like, mediums or anything in them, they dried pretty fast, and I was pretty impressed. I mean, like, they're not the speediest stuff ever, but they dried, a lot of them were dry within a couple days, so I was pretty pleased with that. So anyway, as this video is coming to an end, I want to thank my Artscape so, so much for letting me demo these. They're fantastic. Also, don't forget, you can follow me on DeviantArt, Pagey World, Twitter, and Instagram. All of my links are down in the description below. And don't forget to join our cute little squid army. And until next time, guys, toodaloo!